Danny Garcia, Lucas Matisse for the world's junior welterweight title. Uh, this fight had the makings to be something great because it was on the undercard of Mayweather Alvarez. <clears throat> this fight reminded me of, at first, of to those who are wrestling fans, WrestleMania 3. Um, of course, the main event was Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, but the best match of the night was Randy Savage vs. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That's what this match reminded me of. That type of Randy Savage, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat match that was the best match on the card. That could have been. Um, every There were quite a few people who was excited for this fight. And to be honest, this was the fight that I really want to see more than the Mayweather Alvarez fight. Because of, you know, the build up to this fight. Um, Garcia won the fight. It was close. Um, two judges had it 114 112. Other judge had it 115 111. <clears throat> I just say that, you know, I thought this was a fight that um, Matisse could have won. He blew it. It was his opportunity to win the fight. He let it slip. But Garcia showed me a lot in this fight. He showed me he had guts. He showed me he could take a, a punch. He definitely showed me that. Um, Matisse showed me something too. He had a heart and he fought and he didn't he never quit. But all credit to Garcia standing in there fighting the best fighter in the division, number one ranked contender, and to stand up and take what Matisse had to offer and took some solid shots from him and, and still stood there saying, Well, I'm standing and you know, your best couldn't hurt me or I didn't allow myself to be hurt by you. That showed me a lot by uh, Matisse you know it was a close fight you know um, I'm not upset about the decision um, I thought the fight was still on the, somewhat on the table coming up into the 11th you know Matisse <clears throat> started off strong in the 11th and then Garcia knocks him down so that basically made it a you know a 10-8 round and then in the 12th round um, uh, Garcia gets a point deducted from low blowing Matisse. So, you know, if the judges had given Matisse the, t the 12th, then he would have won a 10 8 as well. Um, you know, round one was a fill out round. Round two, Matisse landed some good power shots. You know, round three was Garcia was more active. Then round four, Garcia was really starting to tee off on Matisse. Round five, you know, Matisse was using his jab to, you know, land some power shots. And Garcia threw some shots back as well. Um, <clears throat> round six, Garcia had threw his fifth and sixth low blows of the fight. I thought the ref was definitely going to take a point, but he didn't, Tony Weeks. Um, round six, Matisse landed, you know, plenty of power shots, you know, and uh, that's, how, that's how the fight went through, through the sixth. Uh, you know, round seven, Matisse's eye was swollen up real bad, you know. Then you had round eight, Garcia just outboxed Matisse. I guess because of the eye, he really couldn't see the punches coming. You know, he just it was he was really starting to tee off on him. And then, you know, it, it just seemed like rounds round uh eight, nine, uh he just Matisse just like he, like he, not to say that he quit. It's like he just had the wind taken out of him, like he was discouraged or something. Cause it's just like those rounds, he just hardly did anything. You know, he, like it's like he fought as if he almost gave up or something. Uh, round ten could have went either way. And again, I was I was talking about round eleven. Round eleven, um. Matisse started off strong and then Garcia knocks him down and it just like changed everything just changed everything in the fight and then you know then you had the round 12 point was taken from Garcia and you know they both were slugging it out at the end especially towards the end they were just letting it all go at that point you know so it was a good it was definitely a good fight crowd pleasing fight um it was close I mean if Garcia has no legit opponent to fight. I would like to see a rematch. 
maybe not maybe not immediately but it was it's definitely worthy of a rematch I'm not gonna say that it isn't um where does Garcia go from here if he doesn't fight the TC again who else is there at 140 for him I don't know who else at 140 is there for him um maybe y'all can uh get feed give me the feedback who would who would be the who would be the next likely opponent for Garcia to fight? Um leave your comments. That's that's my um comments on that fight. Uh I will comment on another fight on that other card as well. Um Ishe Smith. Um he fought I think it Carlos Molina. I saw the fight. Um Ishe Smith did not impress me at all. Um the fight was a was a bore. I didn't really care for it too much, and Isha Smith deserved to lose that damn fight because of the way he fought. He just ugh, it was, it just didn't impress me at all. He fought like a bum, to be honest. That's just my opinion, you know. Maybe he just need to go back to the drawing board and do something else because the way he fought on a big stage like that, it was just it just this oh it was boring, you know. So. He lost his belt. Good for him. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave y'all comments on what y'all thought of that fight. But I definitely wasn't impressed. You know. Um, sorry for all my sorry to all my subscribers. Haven't posted a video in quite some time. Um, there will be more to come. Leave your comments as far as what you thought of the Garcia uh, Matisse fight, and as far as who you think would be a, a next uh, legit opponent for Garcia. Until next time, everyone.